Hey, good morning. Social emotional learning is just as important as academic learning. Good morning. We're paying attention to the whole child, including that young person's mental well being. Good morning, good morning, good morning. During the pandemic, students just weren't showing up. So there had been a lot of emphasis on those deeper levels around mental health. Helping a young person first determine how they're feeling, and then based on that, what do they need to thrive? Education is a little bit about skill, but it's a lot about believing in yourself and feeling like you have a place where you belong. My name is DeAndre Finch Ross, and I'm the team leader here at Noble Elementary Middle School. In the City Year Room, we lead our small group interventions that comes with a lot of social emotional learning work. We're going to do some stretching and some breathing exercises first. We lead a bunch of lessons as far as like mindfulness lessons, self-reflective lessons, trying to help foster an environment for growth. What does the next thing say? And I've seen a lot of growth actually. A lot of kids who have learned to kind of take a breath, take a step back, listen, and then respond. They help me with my emotions because like when I get mad, they pull me out of class and help me calm down. That helps me learn because I can learn stuff without being mad. My name is Maya Glasper. I teach first grade math and science, and I'm actually a city year at love. Every morning before we even start learning, I have a check-in to see how our, my students are feeling and then we start learning. Because you can't just jump in and start, you gotta be in the mood to do it. We focus on things like social awareness, goal-oriented behavior, self-awareness, problem solving and decision making, playing well with others. Our service model is called Whole School, Whole Child. We try to think of the agency of the student in question and what skills and life experiences do they already bring to the table and then how do we leverage that so that that can shine. City Year is transformative because it gives students an opportunity to get their needs met in an individualized setting. I know that they need the help. It's really hard for them to ask for it. Right now, we're doing things like talking about how to control our big feelings and using those big feelings to propel us forward into being successful. I got to reconnect with one of my city year students and he was able to tell me, hey, Ms. Klein, I graduated and I started my own business and guess what, I'm doing great. The reality is he told me during my core year that he was gonna quit school. He didn't wanna be in school, he was gonna go join the gang. So it's really cool to be able to see him and other students like him come back and say, hey, you know what? You changed my life. The high-level impact data, it essentially says that young people who work with city or core members, that they're more likely to be engaged in the classroom. Young people who have a core member are more likely to feel love, challenge, and prepare. And how that shows up academically is we also see greater improvement with their coursework.